somebody is going to win today. Hello, men, and welcome to the Quick Screen Show. I'm your host, Coach Nate Allbaugh, and today and every day on this show, we talk about coaching football. I have to start off today by apologizing for my website here coat on Chief Pigskin. It's a whole lot of technical stuff that went wrong, but the gist of it is it wasn't my fault. So believe me if you want, but also believe me when I say I'm working on it, okay? So for whatever glitches you're seeing on your computer, everything's out of whack on my sir on my uh, on Safari at least if you use a Mac, everything's out of whack. Like things are written in the wrong places and words are wrapped around everything. It's a mess. Trust me, I'm working on it and soon within a week or two Things should look a little differently around here. In fact, they should look a lot different. So please be patient and stick with me. And again, I'm very sorry. Next thing I'm working on, I'm working hard desperately to get more out of my kids in the off season. Now it's not, I'm really not worried about my kids that are playing basketball and baseball. I would love to get them lifting weights more. And we're a co-ops, we have two schools. One of our schools, the, main, the, the school where it all started, Milford, they have a weightlifting class, and 90% of our athletes are in it. So that's in great shape. I really don't have to worry about those athletes. In the other school, who happens to be like our quarterback, um, some of our running backs, um, and a couple linemen, we have no lifting class. And those guys that are playing basketball and baseball they don't get a whole op- op- lot of opportunities to lift. So that's a bummer. But even still, I don't worry about them that much. The kids I worry about are those bums. Yeah, I said it. I call them bums that won't play another sport. It drives me nuts that they won't play another sport. Truthfully, I think it's simply laziness. Now, basketball, I guess I don't totally blame them. Um, it, only five kids play. And if you're one of those heavy set kids there's, you really don't have much chance to play at all. Now it could get you in better shape, which is why I'd love to see them out for it, but it's when the spring rolls around and they've got the option of running track, I mean, I would, I'm sick of these kids not doing anything. Uh, so my coaches and I, my assistants were really always working on me to make me, I guess, require more out of the kids in the off season. And we've always been looking for a good way, a good system, um, here, how do you, really hold your kids accountable to lifting in the off season. Uh, And it's always been a struggle for us because like I said, really about 75, 80% of our kids, they actually do play basketball and baseball. They play in both or track. And only about 20 to 25% of our kids don't play those sports. And on a team where we have a total of about 32 kids, you're looking at around eight kids. And of course, one or two are seniors, so you're not as concerned about them for next year. So it's really, at our school, a tiny, tiny number of kids. It's five or six kids. But I don't want to just tell, I don't want to forget about them. So we've always struggled with this. So here's what we've come up with. And you guys can tell me what you think of this. And of course, afterwards, I'd love for you to log on to the forums and give me some ideas of your own on how you've motivated your kids held them accountable to lifting in the off season. Here's what we're doing this year. And my coaches talked me into this. We're going to actually make these kids earn their helmet decals during this off season, not during the summer, during the year. Now I've had, I've never been a fan of earning your decals. I remember being a sophomore in high school and our team tried this. And I think it was even my dad's idea. My dad was uh, on the staff and we were 0-9 that year. And most of our kids didn't put in any off-season work. And so most of the kids were running around. You know, your starting halfback is running around with no helmet decals. And I worry about that. I worry about midway through the year, my starting halfback having no helmet decals. And let's say he's the star of the team. You've kind of just shot yourself in the foot. So I've always been very leery of this. But we're going to give it a shot. I also didn't want to stretch this out. I didn't want to make it too hard to earn, yet at the same time, it needed to be earned. So 
what we've come up with is this. You wear two helmet decals, one on the left, one on the right. Ours happens to be this fancy little MCP logo. And you have to earn them both during the school year. You can earn your left side helmet decal by playing a winter sport. Got it. Decal. Done. It's yours. You've earned it. You played another sport. I love it when kids play other sports. I think that there's just so much they learn from that, like being on a team, being accountable to teammates, letting people down. I, I think it's just way better than I don't care how much a kid would lift in the weight room. That's me. That's my opinion. But hey, it's my show. I get to share it. Then the next way a kid can earn it, if you don't play a winter sport, is we're going to have a six-week program here. I'm going to show you a calendar. There's our six-week program right through January into February. And there's 18 workouts there. We're going to call it speed, agility, and strength training. So if you happen to be in a weight training class, you don't think I'm just going and repeating my workout. That's not the case. We're going to work out. Because let's face it, of our five to eight kids that we're working for, five to eight of them might be overweight. You know, that's, that seems to be the kids that don't play anything else. They're overweight. And we got to get them active or otherwise they just get fatter. I mean, that's the harsh reality. I don't want these kids to just be getting bigger and bigger in the wrong way. So we're going to try to get them working out. If you come to 12 of the 18 workouts, you earned your left side decal. We're going to do the same thing in the spring through April there, basically the chunk of April plus a week or two. And we're going to, that will then earn your right side decal. So you either play baseball or run track, or you come to 12 of the 18 workouts and you earn your right side decal. Now, a lot of thought went into this. Like I said, I was very leery, but the bottom line is I feel like we're a little bit of desperate times and desperate times call for desperate measures. I've got to get something out of these kids that are sitting around all year because when they come into football season, then they're extremely out of shape. They're extremely weak and they sit around and wonder why they're not playing. I, mean, I want it to be clear as day why you're not playing. You're not playing because you're not strong. You are weak. And it, driving me crazy so it's time to require something out of these kids in addition to i'm gonna show you this picture here real fast you can see we wear we wear uh, or the kids earn these blue paws throughout the year and we only put them on the left side of our helmet the blue paws well two years ago we actually went with gray paws they didn't show up as well so we went with blue but it dawned on us this off season that we could use these gray paws and we'll buy some more if we need to but why not have the kids earn the gray paws for the right side of their helmet for off-season work? Everyone knows kids will work for three things. They'll work for pizza, they'll work for t-shirts, or they'll work for stickers. So we're going to use stickers as much as we can to get these kids working. We want them working. So if you go, if you have perfect attendance at one of these speed agility strength training workouts over, the, over this, this winter session you get a gray sticker. So if you had six weeks of perfect attendance, you would earn six gray stickers for the right side of your helmet. This gray sticker reward thing is gonna carry right into the summer, and we're gonna really try to milk it for everything it's worth. I mean, throw stickers on their helmets. I don't care if we have a million stickers if we got kids that are working that hard. So go ahead, log on, tell me what you think. Is there any ideas, off-season stuff that you've had success with? Or maybe an off-season idea that you haven't had success with. You know what? Yep, I've heard a million off-season ideas. I've heard them. I've tried a lot of ideas. But it never hurts to have more ideas. I was, before I stopped teaching about four years ago, I was an art teacher. And one thing in art is that we would make kids come up with ideas. So you wanted to make a project. But you had to come up with all these ideas of what you were going to create first. And kids would want to make like one idea and then draw it. But no, we said, no, no, dude, we want you to have like eight ideas. How am I going to come up with eight ideas? I don't know how you're going to come up with eight ideas. But I'm making you come up with eight ideas. Because what we know about humans is often you only get better. So your second idea was better than your first, and your third better than your second, and your fourth better than your third, and so on and so forth. So throw more ideas at me. The 8,000th idea I hear about off-season training could be that one that is perfect for our school. Enough of that. Let's get on with the finish of this show. And at long last, it is time to draw a winner for the book, Coaching Football Successfully. 
by Alan Trimble. It is finally time to give this away. Thank you to all of you guys that have been um, participating in the forums. I hope that I'll, after Christmas here, I'll try to get something else going that'll keep you guys motivated to be chiming in. But I got a lot of guys' names right here ready to win this book, okay? And there's tons in here. I'll try to get most of them separated. But we got all kinds of guys in here. Coach Pick, Hawk Up, Freddie Falcon, Dive Option, Tampa 2, Dan Fouts, Coach JD, CC Coach. That's who I've got in here. And some of these guys have more than others because they were talking like crazy. I think Hawk Up had the most with 10. But I see them all here. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to mix this around, draw one winner, and we'll see who we get. I think I got one. I think I got one. Eyes open. Bam. Read it and wait. Tampa 2. Tampa 2, you have won coaching football successfully from the quick screen show. All you got to do is shoot me an email, coachalba at chiefpigskin.com, and give me an address and a name to send this to, and I'm going to get it out right away. Send me an email today. I will send you a book today. Man, thank you. It's been fun until Christmas Day. That's the next Tuesday. Coach them up. Coach them up.